trip. France, here we come. Yep, it's that time of year again. It's September and I cannot wait. We are going to, okay, we're going on a road trip. We're going to the south of France. Plenty of content coming. Our weapon of choice is of course the Audi RS3, 67 grand's worth of pleasure right here in Camorra Grey with the black pack, with the carbon ceramics. Those of you who have seen this car on the channel before will know that this is a very, very good car. So I'm very excited to be taking this 400 brake horsepower. Oh, look, those guys are going to the Nürburgring. Zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds. This is going to be a very, very, very good trip. All right, let's go. It's looking quite busy. There's plenty of cars. It's probably, probably the, the, the busiest I've seen it for a long time, but mind you, it is the last weekend of the school holidays. Normally, when we do these road trips, we're always late and we always end up rushing for this. So actually for once we're early and to be fair, passport control wasn't too bad. Today's journey begins here at the Euro Tunnel and we're going to Grenoble, which is kind of just on the edge of the route Napoleon, which from there we will kind of make our way down south towards the south of France. We'll be staying in Antibes and we'll be doing a day in Monte Carlo, Monaco, and we're also gonna be doing some time in Saint-Tropez. Now they won't all be covered in this video. This is gonna be what the kind of series looks like. And of course the RS3 is a pretty awesome car to be doing this trip in. Welcome, welcome to France. The road trip starts here and the weather is already lovely. Yes, this is what it's all about. Right, number one priority, the most important thing you need to do as soon as you get off the Euro Tunnel is park up at the first petrol station and get a French coffee. Bonjour. Coffee, check. Let's go. So we're about two hours in from Calais and uh, we're about to stop off for our first little break, but it gives me a chance to quickly touch on the RS3. I mean, I don't know if you can see right here, we're averaging 34.9 miles Watch per out. gallon. Construction on road ahead. Thank you. Of course, one of the best things about the RS3 is the RS button, straight, straight into performance mode. And you hear, you hear that five cylinder, 2.5 five cylinder growl. It's just, it's one of my most favorite sounds. Doesn't she look good in the Kimura Grey? Do you know what? I never get tired of this RS3. I absolutely love it. I think that color is just phenomenal. It looks so, so good. I think this with the black pack, you know, with the LED laser matrix lights and the carbon ceramics, I mean, this RS3 is insane. The RS seats, full Alcantara with some leather in there. It's just such a nice, comfortable place to be with incredible bolstering. We've pretty much packed this up. So we have filled this up. Of course, one of those is mine, the rest of my wife's. 997 Carrera 4 GTS. Top tip, if you see a service station with a sign that says Paul on it, go to that one. I've gone for one of those. Look at the variety of food. And this is a service station. This is what the French are just incredible for. Look at the size of those macaroons. The last service station in the UK, and it's also the first service station. Anybody who's coming to the UK will be, what's the right way to say it? That the experience they will have was is absolutely shocking. When we arrived there this morning, because we like wanted to just fill up with fuel and, and maybe get a little coffee, everything was closed, with the exception of a gambling area. So the, the gambling is 24/7. The state of the bathrooms were horrendous. Just the the whole vibe of the place was just unbelievably poor. Yet here in France, everything is just this. They take so much more care of everything. Everything is nice and beautiful. I mean, today is a very long, meticulous day of motorway driving, but. You know, we're stopping here in service I and mean, you can just pan around and you can have a look. It's just so much nicer. And that's why even just a whole day of motorway, I could quite happily just stop at services and eat food like this. See you in a bit. might be wondering why did I want the Audi RS3 for this road trip and there's a couple of reasons if I'm completely honest with you 
I think the first reason is it's not that big, so for a road trip car, it's pretty perfect. It's got good boot space, we could load the bags up. The second one is it's four wheel drive, and where we're gonna be going, there's gonna be lots of turns. I'm specifically targeting the route Napoleon tomorrow, and I think that's where this car will pretty much excel. So that's one of the reasons that I really wanted it. The other one was that I enjoyed this car so much when uh, I went to the launch event out in, uh, well, it was Munich and then into the Alps up near Austria. Um, it was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. I felt like with launch events, you don't necessarily spend as much time as you would like in the, in the car. And um, so this was a perfect opportunity for me to have it for a week. Uh, and drive it outside of the UK because I've had this exact car and reviewed it in the UK but taking a road trip and uh, taking a car abroad for a road trip is very very different and it sounds so good it's just it hums that five cylinder engine just hums the other thing as well about this car is I like to bring different cars on different road trips and the main reason is as well that the car is so much part of the road trip as is the experience that you have with whoever you go with. Let's get the tickets. Ugh. Okay, starting to flag now. We've been going for the best part of probably 11 hours. We set off at half four in the morning. It's about half, well, coming up to half four in the afternoon French time. Uh, I've got myself a bit of a pick-me-up, heart attack in a glass. We are now, we're doing all right. We've got an hour to go to the hotel, but I really just kind of want to get there, unpack, and then go and get some food. But for now, wow, that's sweet. That's definitely going to wake me up. I'll probably bounce off the walls in a minute. <laughs> oh, I just had to quickly park up here. We're literally moments away from the hotel, but guys, look at that for a view. Wow. That is stunning. You've got the Alps over there. If I spin it round, just incredible. Just as the sun is setting as well. The RS3 has been a real trooper today. My legs are knackered. My back is knackered, but this has been really, really good. But right now, what a view. Just as the sun sets. Oh, I love this. This is what I love about road trips, discovering new places, seeing beautiful scenery in an amazing car. Let's have a look at the room. I'm not expecting anything fancy. I just booked a quick stopover room, which is what this is about. The nice hotels will be tomorrow. This isn't bad for review. Check that out. We've got the swimming pool, we've got dinner, and we've got that phenomenal view, which I was showing you a minute ago. What I'm gonna do right now is unpack, jump in the shower, because I'm a bit sweaty after 11 hours worth of travel, and head down there, have a cold beer, and get a good night's rest because in tomorrow's video or for well, the next video we're getting up bright and early and we're heading down the route napoleon down towards saint tropez so if you did like it guys make sure to like and i'll see you all very soon on the next video take care bye bye